Can you talk about like what uh, what sort of drove you? What what circumstances in terms of changes to your own business, to the to the time, to the way you were spending time, drove you when when the pandemic really hit to take on Corona TV and sort of what it is for you. I mean, if you're watching this, people know what this is for me, but you know, talk about what Corona TV is for you. Yeah, and, and the, the story, which I don't know if there'll be time to talk about today is one of the stories that I actually write about in, in Built to Suck is how I became an Uber driver. Um, and, and the point that I make by doing it is there are many marketing gurus out there I'll bet you not one of them has ever become an Uber driver um, and can talk about what Uber's building from the inside out, from mm-hmm. the other side. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's, of course, it's, a, it's you know, a, any good, hard, honest day's job is a respectable job and something to be looked up to. And for me, you know, the ability to go and, and, and understand and see it from the other side was illuminating. And it's the message that I always tell to marketers, which is you can't read about this in a book, even mine, you know, a little bit uh, cheeky, snarky or cheeky there. You've got to live it. Yeah. So, so my story is a very simple one. You know, I, I was visiting my mom in South Africa. Um, you know, thank God she's doing okay, but it's four years into, into a bout with cancer mm. um, that we, you know, we call it the red dragon, trying to keep the red dragon at bay. And I've been trying to visit her three, four times a year. Um, and 20 minutes before I meant to uh, give a presentation in South Africa, because I try and, you know, do a little bit of work there as well. My wife calls me and she says, I have the coronavirus. I'm pretty sure I've got COVID. 20 minutes before I meant to present. Oh my gosh. I, flew back the, I flew back the next day uh, and I was meant to fly back the next day. Um, but I would have anyway, obviously. The day that I arrive, I must have passed her on the, on the I-95 from JFK to Connecticut because she was getting tested. I got home and I immediately self-quarantined, different bedroom, different floor, yeah. you know, away from her. For almost a month, I was on, uh, on a different floor in the house. Wow. And, wow. Um, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm obviously faced with, on a, you know, at that point, it's like March 15th, every hour, every day, another conferences cancelled. I was going through the South by Southwest, you know, um, thing at the moment. And I kept on telling everyone on my WhatsApp group, guys, this is definitely going to be cancelled. Yeah. But I couldn't cancel it and because the hotel. So so anyway, so everything's been cancelled. All my speaking engagements have been cancelled. Consulting clients are cancelling. <laughs> and and I, I don't even know what I, I can't if you ask me what the spark was, I would say honestly I don't remember but I just decided to do a Facebook Live. And the Facebook Live led to an experiment with Zoom. And Zoom led to using a piece of software called StreamYard. And the next thing I knew, Corona TV was just there. And then I remember the day, uh, I mean, there's such an interesting lesson here, but but I was talking to my sister and she has a spinning studio in, in, in London. Uh-huh. And she was saying like, we've got to close our doors and and I, I don't know what to do. and. So she went and put all her bikes, she has one studio, it's hers. She put all the bikes on like a U-Haul, emailed her customer base, said, who wants a spinning bike and started streaming herself. So I said to her, why don't you come on my show? You can be my guest. Okay. Guess what? She was the first guest. Wow. Now my whole show, 82, 83 episodes later. 